Lewis, a tough day out there. Incredibly hot, but also really difficult out on track. How much did you have to like, relearn how to drive this circuit? Or was there something you could do to change the car that ultimately would, would make it more amenable to the track today? Uh, well, firstly, um, it's the bumpiest the track's ever been. It's probably the bumpiest track I've ever driven. Um, so that makes it one difficult, but then on two, just generally our, our car is quite, uh, it bounces a lot. Um, it's different, it's different bouncing to what we've experienced in the past. It's just uh, because it's in a low speed also, so it's, it, but it's not aero. I think it's just the, the, the bumps on the track are making make it worse. But um, otherwise, not really having to learn the track differently, it's just fighting the car. To put a, put a lap together is, wow. Yeah. <laughs> a whole new challenge. Holy <laughs> it's, uh, it's a lot different. I don't remember experiencing it like that before. Obviously, the, the cars this year have to be very sort of stiffly sprung in order to, to make them operate as you, as you need them to. Yeah. How does that change the feel for you inside the car around this track? Well, I mean, I remember just back in the day, I mean, my first years here, just a light, nimble car going around. It was so much better. But now we have these super heavy cars. They're heavier than ever before. The braking zones are different. Um, I mean, it's crazy in 2022 that the, the tracks aren't as smooth when they've been resurfaced. Um, technology is still <laughs> against us. But but um, yeah, as I said, putting the lap together is difficult. But uh, we, we made, I think we made some improvements going into that session. And it doesn't even feel like uh, when you actually do put try to put a, a lap together, the grip doesn't feel terrible. It's just, you know, you're like eyeballs coming out the sockets. Um, and so we've got some work to do overnight to try and fix that. Uh, I, as anticipated, I didn't think we would be as quick as the, uh, the Ferraris and the Red Bulls. Um, our battles to try and stay ahead of the McLarens, I think. So are you, is the car bottoming out at any point? Are you finding you're kind of riding the plank and the, the wheels are lifting or...? Uh, yeah, I think the, the locking that I was having was because the car was on the ground, on the deck. Um, so we're going to have to figure out how to get around that with the setup. Um, and then down the straights, yeah, there's some big, big, big hits. Um, but I, as I said, it's different to when we were having bouncing hitting. Uh, it is bouncing, but it's a different kind of feel. Because um, it's like every, there's like a hundred bumps on just one straight. So. <laughs> Um, I don't know how it is for the others and whether or not they're experiencing the same as us, but it's uh, the bumpiest roller coaster ride ever. I know you love driving this circuit. What do you need overnight to bring back the time and I guess a little bit more of the enjoyment? Well, I mean, I, it's not that I didn't enjoy it. I just, as I said, I didn't get to, didn't really put like great laps together. Good sector one and two's kind of almost there and then three wasn't there. To, uh, I think the first, the best laps of the day were really in like P1, the first few laps. So, um, yeah, we'll we'll study the day so we'll try and figure out how we can, as I said, we can improve the, the, the bumps. And yeah, I really hope for a better day tomorrow. I mean, it feels like the car's got the potential to be up there, almost up there with the guys. But there is all these things that are just kind of hindering us a little bit. But um, we, won't, we won't stop fighting. George, we heard from the radio today. It seemed like pretty difficult going out there. Uh, how hard was it to drive Monaco in, in this year's cars? Yeah, really tricky to be honest. The stiffness of these cars are um, well, stiff, to be honest. Very, very stiff. And around a bumpy street circuit, it's not easy to put on the limit. And I think that's one of the biggest difficulties. And I think we're seeing Ferrari flourish again. We've seen how good they've been over curves. We saw it in Imola. But they were just uh, smashing over them and. Um, with relative ease and it's obviously playing into their their hand at the moment so we've got a lot of work to do overnight i'm not too sure we can really close that gap um but nevertheless it's always good fun driving around here is there much you can do to change the car's characteristics to soften the suspension or is it about adapting your own driving style within the limitations of a quite stiffly sprung car yeah i think you got to give it a bit more respect than you would do ordinarily because the car is constantly just smashing against the floor. Um, we've experienced a lot of that this year, but this is a very different uh, philosophy and, and reasoning for, for the bouncing. Um, you know, there's, there's sections where both of the tyres are off the ground because of you know, turn five, you've got the front right up in the air and it's, it's so stiff, even the front left is popping up off the ground as well. So 
you know, there's points you're almost like doing a wheelie, you know, you have no front wheels on the ground. So, yeah, it's tricky. I don't know what more we can do with the car. We're doing everything we can to, to try and make it a bit easier for us and to give us a bit more confidence. But, you know, the guys and girls are going to work hard overnight and, and see what we can do for tomorrow. This is a confidence track. Do you have the confidence? Um, generally speaking, yeah. I don't feel too bad after today. I think I could be feeling better. Um, I think it was a relatively good day, but we're not where we want to be. You know, it's P6, we had a McLaren in front of us. We want to be best of the rest. I think that's going to be a fair result this weekend in the sense of behind Ferrari and um, Red Bull, but we need to make sure that we don't have a cheeky little Lando popping it in there too.